Gemma in this game. Uh, maybe uh, Baka Gemma want to watch this also. Uh. Siyempre, uh, of course, uh, Tagig coming in uh, this game undefeated, winning their first game. And, uh, well, on the start, it was, uh, well, Air Force scored the first basket, but it has been all Tagig. Uh, but uh, in the first quarter, Tagig running away with that first quarter, uh, 21 to 14. Of course, uh, Gemma's good play has really affected. It has uh, rubbed on to her teammates. That's her score, 21 14. Th and then, you know, after that uh, torrid uh, first quarter, the scoring pace, uh, you know, it went down a bit in the uh, second quarter. That's why uh, both teams scored seven points each. So uh, no change, still a seven point lead after uh, at halftime for uh, the Lady Generals, 28 to 21. Now, here's the thing. The Air Force making their move in the third quarter. And if you, you, the veterans, you know, Ambi Almazan, Cindy Resultai, Karen Columna taking over. And now before they know it, they were they were ahead by one entering the fourth. So this game is now interesting and exciting. Look at this, Columna continuing her hot streak from the third quarter. But of course, Tagig with a ready answer. Duazo, very unselfish play. Stats were fairly even uh, after uh, regulation. No surprise. Look at Resultai just sacrificing her body. And we were tied at 54 all. But in the overtime, well, the uh, Generals found their second win as the uh, Air Force started to miss. Of course, uh, Miranda was a factor in all those plays. So she may not be scoring, but she has been facilitating. And that was the uh, final basket by Peñaranda to uh, set her score at 69-57. Congratulations to the Tagig Lady Generals.